Hi, Air Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your uh, monthlies for the month of August of 2022. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. So let's get started. This is an extended spread. It's not a bonus regular spread. Those are a little shorter just to get the energy for the bonus. This is extended into a full spread, 10 card spread with outcome clarifiers as well. Libra. Nice. I love the energy, positive thinking, looking out. Uh, August is going to be a great month for you with the mindset here, very positive energy, I feel. There is going to be a decision to be made, and it's going to be thrilling. I feel that starts with the mind here, okay? I feel that you are dropping the burdens uh, of negative energy here, and you're really going to change, like, um, you, you ever hear the term, like, my dad was purely military, okay, growing up. So his favorite expression was, you better change your attitude. <laughs> It's all I heard growing up. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I was a teenager, you know, back in the day. Uh, but definitely, it's kind of like you're changing your ways, you're changing your attitude towards life, you know, you're healing. This is a great, great spread. You're forgiving the past, you're forgiving whoever you have to forgive. Uh, but definitely, that's good. Star is healing energy, okay? You're making that choice to improve your life and just kind of releasing it okay dropping the burdens of everything that you've been through here yeah you're walking away from it okay i'm feeling i'm not feeling that um you're literally saying okay i'm done with you you're giving yourself a break okay you're done beating yourself up your attitude your um perception of your life and you know everything that you've been through in regards to a relationship you are walking away from it emotionally you're getting yourself stabilized absolutely there you are you hold that power the queen of swords to me it doesn't have to be libra but i do represent that uh, as libra in my eyes here you know you're getting balanced into your own life you know but i do feel that you're on a new adventure hang on very interesting energy boy that did a switcheroo for some out there because it went half and half here i'm feeling halfway through the month of august for libra i'm feeling that you're going to walk away cut that energy out and then bam they're going to come back stable they're going to want to communicate here you do know this person somebody's coming back wow what a transformation goodness gracious Wow, you can really tell that August has 31 days in it. Because uh, this is like an extended energy going on here. Long month, as always. Uh, but definitely, as always, isn't that all? Yeah, you know, it's always. Uh, but yeah, uh, but there's going to be more of a positive attitude, I feel, in initially in the, like, the first two weeks. I don't believe in time frame, but I am feeling this big time. Because they are showing me half, like very positive, the first row. Second row is basically... You released it, and now they're coming back, and you know this person. Wow. Yeah, they're rushing back. Uh, Knight of Swords here. <laughs> I literally heard, I'm coming back to clean up the hot mess I made. <laughs> so this just tells me that they're going to clarify, give you some kind of explanation here. Definitely coming in suddenly. When you're charging forward and there's a tower in your way, they got a mission. Exactly. They have it all planned out. They've been thinking about you. But, you know, for some, I do feel that your counterpart, you know, when you cut them out and started working on yourself, Libra, and believe me, been there, done that, get that totally. Uh, it's kind of like they lost touch. They lost your energy. They lost your feelings for them. They lost everything, and it's kind of like like the room just went dark, and they can't see. So that bothers them because now they're running, searching to go turn on that light to see you, okay? Nice, nice analogy, too, I must say. Wow. Yeah, they don't want to fight here, okay? But definitely, I feel that fives are known for changes, so they definitely want things to change here. But I feel in the same sense, and it's funny because... 
Uh, I was just saying that to somebody on TikTok. Not that I talk much on TikTok. But I remember saying, I'm a Libra. I hate fighting. I don't like drama. I don't want to fight. You know, let's just talk this over here. But I feel that first things first, you have to release an old energy of just dropping the burdens and looking after yourself and healing. And then somewhere in between uh, the 15th and the end, I feel that things are going to be turning around. You know, it's like ending a cycle, starting anew. Interesting. Wow. But yeah, definitely sudden energy of them returning, I feel. All right. Gemini. That was long, Libra. That, that was good, though. I liked it a lot. All right, Gemini. There's a decision that you're trying to make. I do feel that you want to communicate to your significant other here. I feel that you are ready to communicate this, but you're not just quite ready. I say this is because you're balanced here, but you know you can't make a decision if you want to communicate. Now, there may be a little bit of guilt or what have you, or you just want to hear them from them flat out, okay? But I do feel that you truly miss them and you want to start things over again. What's interesting about this spread is that your back is towards the justice. So I feel, uh, I, I, I feel that you would, I always do that when I don't know how to properly put things, sorry. Uh, I, I feel, let me continue on. Yeah, yeah, there's true love here, absolutely. There's no anger here at all. You just totally miss them because you could be dealing with a twin, Gemini energy as well, uh, another Gemini. But you do hold the power here. Each major arcana, major arcana uh, stands for a certain sign, okay? So that's a decision that you're going to have to make here. But I feel that for some, I really feel with your energy of the Queen of Pentacles turning the back towards the justice here or away from the justice, I don't feel that you're quite ready yet to make that choice, that decision. Yeah, you really want to heal an old situation with someone yeah, you are balanced, but it does get to you. You kind of get confused. I don't know what to do kind of energy. Yeah, I feel that you will turn around eventually sometime during the month of August here. Really think things through. Uh, my dad had another favorite expression growing up. <laughs> That's always, he always used to say, Deborah, it, it became an official name uh, at that time. Debra, you never think first before you speak. <laughs> I still don't. If you're if you are one of my Facebook friends, you would see that example exactly. <laughs> I'm funny on Facebook. Uh, but regardless, I just throw it out there, but I'm funny. Uh, but definitely I feel that, you know, you really you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait to do this. I don't feel that it's gonna be in September, I don't feel it's going to be overly long. Just make sure that you don't do an impulse uh, communication. You know, really think things through. But I do feel that you will. Okay. I feel that you will eventually communicate to this person because you miss them. You want to heal things. You know, you're going to give it a shot. Yeah. Even spirits like hold off, hold off, you know. Yeah. It's going to be a battle uh, kind of going back and forth in your head. Give it some time for sure. But I do feel that, yeah, two nights heading towards each other. So showing that action and showing the love here. You two are going to reunite. Just give it some time. Uh, I, I know the Knight of Swords is known for at times. It depends on the cards around it for me. Uh, but it's kind of like a rushing. Don't do an impulse thing. But, you know, just give it some time for sure. Even spirits kind of like, no, 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 not right now. You know, the hand is facing the past. Don't communicate to them, I feel. You know, but you may beat yourself up a little bit. Just hold off, I'm feeling towards more towards the end of the month. But I do feel that you should and you will be reaching out, Gemini, uh, to your significant other. Okay. That was interesting. I usually don't pick up on... The person who is ghosted to return to communicate, usually it's the other way, but that was rocking cool. All right, Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for the month of August 2022? Could be dealing with another air sign here, specifically Libra, I feel, uh, with the Queen of Swords. Somebody's cutting out an old situation. Wow. 
you know, we have a new moon uh, uh, when I'm recording this. So I'm really picking up a lot of endings, new beginnings here. I feel that you're making a decision to walk away just to give yourself a break here. Now, this does represent earth sign energy, but this is really your energy. I know you guys are swords, but this is regrouping your thoughts and balancing out your life. You're making that choice, that decision. Is it going to be easy? Absolutely not, you know. But I feel that sometime during the month of August, you're really going to focus on, yeah, exactly. You're really going to focus on uh, healing your energy, cutting yourself a break from this relationship. It's going to be tough, okay, because the high priestess is known for divine energy, twin flame. So it's kind of like, well, how am I supposed to do that? It's a twin. Well, we're not asking for miracles. But I feel that if you just kind of release that little by little, just kind of zen, maybe try a little meditation. There's sage sticks. I just ordered some off of Amazon. Amazon's not sponsoring this video. You get a white candle. You'll light a white candle here. You get in the zen. You focus on your energy, you calm your energy down kind of thing. Turn to source for this, okay? Definitely communicate, all right? They still feel the connection. There's no denying that this is a twin flame for sure. You know, I feel that if you lose, if you move away from their energy, okay? I, who did I read that for? Was it Libra? You might want to check out Libra. I think it was Libra. Uh, but I felt the same energy, I believe it was Libra. Uh, but definitely was an air sign. They are going to not feel your energy, and that's going to drive them nuts. It's kind of like you tried your hardest. You threw that out there. You you tried your hardest to manifest and, and telepathically communicate to your twin. And now you're just kind of like, I'm just done. You know, uh, emotionally, I need to cut myself a break here. Do it, you know? And, and when twins... Uh, you know, stop that healing energy, throwing that out there to their divine, to their twin here, and they're not feeling the energy of their twin anymore, this is what happens. The emperor's looking over at the high priestess. The high priestess is one of the unknown. Where'd you go? They're going to know that you released partially their energy. Is it going to be 110% that you really know? And nobody's asking you to. Just kind of lighten the load of all the stress that you've been going through is what this tells me. But it's a cat and mouse game. When they don't feel your energy, that's going to drive them cray cray, you know, definitely. And what's going to happen? Uh, they're going to show the action. Knight of Wands here. Oh my gosh, such a twin flame. Hello. But you're going to be ready. You're going to be grounded when they do come back. Now, do I feel that that's, they're going to return in the month of August? No. With the cards up top saying to me that they're dividing it. So really cool. I love when they do that. I feel for you guys for the month of August, Aquarius, I feel that it's time to kind of heal your energy first. Is it going to happen for them to return? Yes. But they have to learn to miss you and realize, where did you go? You know, not even spiritual, telepathic, healing energy that you were throwing out there to them. They don't feel that anymore. And that drives them nuts. So you went off to never, never land and grounded your energy here, okay? Yeah. Spirit's basically saying, you got this. The hand, don't even worry about it, you know, kind of thing, all right? Yeah, heal the heartbreak through this as well. Sorry. Uh, the Four of Pentacles is healing energy after a lot of heartbreak here. So I really feel, especially with the outcome being the way it is, your mission for this month, I feel, Aquarius, is really breaking free energetically from your twin, okay? And just work on you and work on your healing energy. They will return. And that's what I have for not just Aquarius, but for all the air signs out there. For the month of August 2022, you guys rock. Have a good one. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.